My full job title is water quality specialist, but basically I'm the staff chemist here. I'm responsible for designing all of our methods for analyzing for different parameters that are in the water. Um, mostly we're interested in the nitrogen cycle. Uh, the fish are swimming in the same water that they happen to be going to the bathroom in. So if you don't have lots and lots of clean water flushing through, you, one of the concerns is having ammonia buildup. I use math pretty much every day. Every type of measurement you do, you have to understand some type of math. It's used here at the aquarium, figuring out concentrations of a parameter of a flow rate. So we'll go out in the morning, we'll collect all of our samples, we'll bring them back and we'll run various tests. This particular test happens to be a nitrite analysis. Once a month I run a new standard curve so I can compare known values to unknown values. So in this rack over here, starting in the beginning, these are blanks and these are known standards. That's why this one's really, really dark. The darker the color, the more nitrite that's in the sample. We use what is called an auto sampler. We put them in racks here. This is the auto sampler here. Under computer control, this needle will drive around and it'll be lowered into one of these tubes. Then the computer will tell this pump to start pumping right here. The sample will come through this tubing, through this flow cell, and out. Once the tubing is full, it'll stop the pump. A shutter will open, it will send light through the sample from this side, and then from over here, there's a detector. By measuring the amount of light going out and the amount of light coming in, we can figure out the concentration of nitrite in the sample. And this is all controlled by this computer and this little uh, program over here. Okay, um, what we were just doing over at the computer, it was actually doing all the math for us. To give you an idea of what's going behind the scenes, if we have a little light source right here, it's going to shine light through our flow cell. And we'll have a detector over here. I just drew an eye, but it, there's actually a machine that will measure in the amount of light accurately. By looking at the amount of light coming into the flow cell compared to the amount of light going out, the logarithmic ratio of that is called absorbance. And everything, pretty much everything we do that uses the spectrophotometer that you saw a little while ago is using this type of math. My name is Evan Tyler. I'm an aquarist here. I work in conjunction with Eric Kingsley, who is testing water samples from this exhibit. Um, of primary concern um, for our planted tanks are the plants. They need to be fertilized and they have to be precise. We did a conversion from 400 gallons to liters. We discovered that there are 1,514 liters in 400 gallons. Next, we had to determine how many 50s there were in 1,514 liters. It turns out there's 30.28 50s in 1,514 liters. We can take that 30 and multiply it by the recommended dosage of five milliliters. So 30 times 5 is 150 milliliters of micronutrients. If any of you students out there are ever interested, think you might be interested in a job in marine chemistry or aquarium industry, definitely take the math. I use algebra, I use calculus all the time. It's actually very useful. Math is used everywhere in the world, and especially in jobs like this. Personally, for me, it's how I make my living, and I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think it was fun.